Here are the 10 social media trends that I'm predicting will take over the social media space in 2024. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled. As always, I'm Millie, your go-to educator for content creators. Timestamps will be down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's just get into it. Trend number one, new search engines on the rise. I believe social platforms will be the main search engine for most, if not all phone users. Gone are the days where you go to Google with all of your problems because as of right now, most of millennials, all of Gen Z and younger generations are going to their favorite social media platforms to ask questions, do research, figure out if they should buy a certain product and basically everything. First, we know that Google, the original search engine, if you will, owns YouTube, another great search engine. And earlier this year, we saw that Google and TikTok partnered up. So if you haven't already, you will start seeing more Google and Wiki results in TikTok when searching for something. And I'm sure soon enough, vice versa, more TikTok videos appearing in Google searches. Higher quality and better performing search engines are something that every social platform is eager to improve on, like Instagram, X, LinkedIn. Because of the extra effort that's going into bettering these search engines, this leads me to my prediction number two. SEO will take over hashtags. SEO is an intimidating strategy for so many people, but I actually think with social media, it's easier than ever before. Originally, SEO was all about optimizing your websites with backlinks, coding, keywords, and all the things to hopefully rank higher on Google searches, but it's been made really simplified due to social media existing. Rewind back in the timeline. At first on Instagram, the quickest way to find something was to search a hashtag, hashtag coffee, hashtag love. But now people aren't searching hashtags, they're searching phrases like social media trends, not hashtag social media trends, or even coffee recipes, at home latte art. They're looking for phrases instead of hashtags. I think as this behavior grows, it's only going to grow leading hashtags into eventually not being as heavily emphasized or pushed for content creators to have to use. Which means those content creators that do take the time to learn the ins and outs of how to adapt SEO into your content strategy, they'll probably start to see a lot of traction to their profiles, whether you're using hashtags or not. Trend number three, e-commerce takeover. There are a lot of things pushing for e-commerce to take over in 2024, or really increasing our buyer behavior. First, we have TikTok shop that came out. It's impossible to scroll on your For You page without seeing that little orange icon on a video where a creator has tagged a product. Even Black Friday shopping was huge on TikTok shop with Tarte having huge promotions on some of their most popular items, like their Maracuja lip balm almost received 100,000 sales in just a few weeks. The Lip Plump got over 55,000 sales, and that's just two of the products that were in that store. We also saw that last month, Meta and Amazon officially partnered together so that the in-app ads on Facebook and Instagram will encourage users to buy something through Amazon, and they wouldn't even have to leave the Instagram app to completely check out an item. Plus on YouTube, they've released new features where creators can now tag products in their long form videos, whether it's merch that they own, physical products from their website, or even they can tag other brands' products in their videos. With all of these changes, you better believe your feed will likely be filled with more content creators reviewing products, testing products, or simply recommending products. Trend number four, AI, the new norm. It should be no surprise that AI is bound to be a top trend in 2024, but I think some of the new ways we'll see it implemented in the content creator space will be a happy surprise for most of us. First of all, we have features like Dream Screen coming to YouTube, which is AI generated videos for shorts, where basically you could type a phrase or a prompt of a video that you want to exist. The example that YouTube gave was you panda drinking coffee and AI will generate a video of a panda drinking coffee. Also coming to YouTube in 2024 will be AI powered insights. So basically they're working on AI tools to help you spark creative ideas of what you could be creating on your channel 
based on data collected by looking at what videos your audience is watching. And then they create an outline for you. This also includes YouTube sifting through your YouTube comments and finding questions that your followers have asked and turning them into video ideas for you. Across all of social media, we have nuevas habilidades de doblaje, insane AI video editing. VidIQ already has some AI tools to help you come up with viral YouTube video title ideas. Stan Store has Stanley, which is their AI bot to help you come up with paid product ideas. And this is just the beginning because I can see more and more AI tools being made for creators to help them step up their content creation process or at least make it a million times easier. Heck, I wouldn't be surprised if AI thumbnails became a thing or even, hear me out, complete AI content creators. Like who remembers a few years back, Lil Michaela, that became viral. I feel like AI content creators will absolutely be a thing. Now, if you're somebody who's curious about how to start implementing AI into your content creation process or business, you're definitely gonna wanna download the free guide that I have linked down below. This guide has everything that you need to know about AI marketing trends and was created by HubSpot, who is the sponsor of today's video. So what HubSpot did was they gathered data from over 1300 global marketing sales service and SEO professionals to figure out what the top AI trends for marketers were this past year and see key insights for the future of marketing with AI. In this guide, you'll get 10 practical tips for how to include AI into your business, which includes AI for SEO and keyword research, which I know all of us could use some guidance in that area. Plus they'll also show you some best practices for when to use AI or maybe when not to use it and so much more. So if you've been curious about how you can integrate AI into your tech stack, download the free guide down below. Trend number five, creators making bank. Boom. I mean, just from looking at the Forbes top 50 content creators list, we know that creators are making some serious cash money. We had the influencer marketing industry expected to grow approximately $21.2 billion in 2023 alone. DataBridge market research expects that the value of the influencer marketing platform market to reach $69.92 billion by 2029, which is, that's a lot. That's a lot of dollars. <laughs> But what will the biggest trends for income be in 2024? First, I believe UGC will just continue to pop off. Brands already see a huge high return on investment in authentic videos that are created by an everyday person instead of like an overly produced ad. When it comes to brand collaborations, I believe that brands will actually put more budget towards TikTok partnerships than ever before. In 2022, Instagram was still one of the highest platforms for influencer marketing, but I really think 2023 has been pivotal for TikTok. Because users spend more time on TikTok, I think it only makes sense for brands to invest more ad spend there with YouTube coming in a close second or even equal spend to TikTok because YouTube videos are evergreen. They have a little bit longer of a shelf life than TikTok. So I really feel like brands are gonna be dishing out the money when it comes to those two platforms. In 2024 though, we'll probably also see a rise of all these social platforms giving content creators monetary incentives to post more consistently with features like live shopping, product tagging, affiliate marketing, maybe even milestone bonuses. I feel like these platforms are just gonna come out with even more incentives to encourage content creators to like, hey, use our platform. We're gonna pay you, wah, 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 wah. So that's good news for content creators. Trend number six, YouTube shorts will blow up. I think YouTube shorts has been a sleeper or like a dark horse in the short form video because, okay, TikTok, we already know, TikTok is the main short form platform place. Shortly after TikTok blew up, Instagram came in hard with those changes. They were like, no, we're gonna compete. You saw drastic changes on the Instagram platform. Whereas YouTube didn't make any drastic changes. You know, they kept, hey, long form is still what we do, but here's this feature in case you wanna do short form content. And I think this is where YouTube is brilliant, honestly. The stark changes that Instagram made made a lot of their users unhappy. But because YouTube has been slowly implementing shorts and 
gradually weaving it into the already YouTube universe that existed. All of the features that they were coming out with for shorts just made sense. Like they added the shorts ability, right? But they weren't like in your face, here's a shorts feed boom, only do shorts, right? And then they added like a little bar on your homepage. I was like, hey, here's some shorts if you wanna view them. They added a tab where you could go view shorts if you wanted to, but still the focus was on long form video. And now you see the shorts bar is a little bit bigger. Now, instead of two videos that you could swipe through, there's four videos that you could swipe through. So it's just like gradually growing. And because it's been such a sleeper and so gradual, I feel like next year is where it's really going to take off. We already see so many content creators blowing up with YouTube shorts, going from like zero to over 500,000 subscribers in a short amount of time from using shorts. <laughs> Trend number seven, POV content. This one is kind of my biggest gamble of a prediction. I think we might start seeing a rise in POV content in 2024. And if not in 2024, then surely in 2025. POV content point of view content. We're seeing a rise in camera and new video equipment like Meta's iteration of its Ray-Ban Stories glasses where Meta and Ray-Ban partner together. There's like a camera in the Ray-Bans and those glasses are seeing really positive reviews. You also have their new Quest 3 VR headsets, which VR headsets is another way to capture your point of view. And of course the Insta360 Go 3 camera that can easily clip to your shirt so that you could film whatever you do wherever you go while you're hands-free. With all of these new video capture camera equipment coming out, I feel like because it could be easier for content creators to just like throw on glasses, press record, film their day as they're doing it, even attaching a camera to their shirt, filming it as they go, I feel like that could be the direction that content takes. If not next year, then the year after. Trend number eight, content simplifications. Content creators have been on on a high, they're popping off, buzzing around, rising and grinding. And while I think the industry is going to continue to grow in complexities, I think there will be a segment of content creators that shift to focus on more simplification with their businesses or creation process. One, I think content creators will start simplifying their content funnels. For me, as an example, just the other week I posted the I'm leaving Instagram video where I'm gonna be taking a break on Instagram so that I could focus 100% of my energy onto YouTube. So I went from posting Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all the places to just one place because I really just wanna master the area that I love the most. I think with all of these platforms that have been competing the past few years, content creators feel like they have to be everywhere. And I think next year they're gonna realize I don't have to be everywhere. I can just pick one place for now and just kind of cruise there for a little bit. Also number two, by the holidays next year, I feel like as a society, we might have consumer burnout or buyer burnout because with the rise of e-commerce, it's going to be like we're constantly being sold to and encouraged to buy things and have more. So I think there's gonna be a huge segment of content creators that are going to focus on eco-friendly content in a way, whether it's literal like de-influencing people to not buy products or buy a bunch of stuff, or even casual authentic videos where the person focuses on what they have and being content with that. Number nine, small content creators, it's your time. When you scroll on your TikTok for you page and even your YouTube homepage, I think you're gonna start getting more small creators recommended to you. Before my TikTok for you page would be like viral video after viral video after viral video. But now every like two, three videos is a small content creator. It's a video that maybe already has like two likes on it, 10 likes on it. And TikTok is just giving that creator a chance for their video to go viral. Same thing with YouTube. I've been getting a lot of small creators recommended to me on my homepage. And I think that's something we're going to see an increase in in 2024 so that new creators, people who are just getting started, they have an amazing chance at growing and having this become their full-time thing. I know some of us might not like this change because maybe it means you're starting to see lesser quality videos come across your For You page, but if you are a content creator or somebody who's getting started, this is great news for you. <laughs> like now is your time to go all in. These platforms aren't just pushing viral videos anymore. They're trying to find a happy balance between what's working and what they want to work. 
Trend number 10, TikTok will come out on top. When it comes to short form content, I think TikTok will still be the leader of that type of video. That's where all the trends will start and people will take those trends to other platforms. There will probably be a spike of TikTok drama or like TikTok being banned and that being like a really scary thing, probably quarter three of next year because that's when big votes are happening in the US. So you might see some candidates of certain types talking about the horribleness of TikTok and how it needs to be banned. So I think there might be a scare, but I don't think it'll actually get banned. I think it'll still be fine by the end of the year. We might also see some new apps come in and potentially challenge other apps like Instagram, X, Threads. Similar to how Be Real started making like a huge come up in 2022, but by the end of the year, TikTok was still the king in the city, the big kid on the playground. So I think there might be a spike in a new social media app that happens next year, but I don't think it'll be a big takeover app yet. I feel like a new takeover app will be coming though. 2025, mark my words. <laughs> What do you think about all of these trends? Do you think they will happen? Do you disagree, agree? What are maybe trends that I didn't talk about? Do you have your own 2024 social media predictions? I wanna know, I love talking about it. Let me know down in the comments. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, hug that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next video and I'll see you in the next one. Follow your joy, bye. Ooh.